Good morning, everybody. Miles Terry here along with our fabulous co-star, Miss Lucy. And yes, we're going through the desert. Oh my gosh. So I thought you would enjoy a desert drive and we chit chat. And yes, I know I have videos that I have to post from my journey, so don't get confused. Uh, this is today. We are uh, driving through the desert. And uh, first of all, I want to say thank you, Karen, over at Homesteader Lane for that super thanks. I so appreciate that. Oh my gosh, like I tell y'all, it's like a nice little pat on the back. It really is. Good job, Terry, good job. So thank you so much, Karen, I appreciate it. And one thing I always say is if you don't have money, don't send me no money. I don't, <laughs> I don't wanna take your money if you need it to live on. But it's always nice to have a nice little pat on the back. So thank you so much. Oh my gosh. So we have been stealth camping. Kate has been taking me around to different places to where we stealth camp at. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. This morning we stealth camped over at Planet Fitness. And uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I did. So I'm adding all these things to my repertoire. Oh my gosh. We're going down to 45. Oh, I always wanted to go to Huachuca. We are in Huachuca. Ah, I love these names of the towns. Uh, the names of the towns in uh, New Jersey, most of them are German. But uh, yeah, it's like, I love the uh, Spanish names out here. So we stealth camped at Planet Fitness last night. I had no problem. I'm gonna do a videotape of that. I already got that taped. That was a lot of fun, it really is. Oh, what a cute little town, huh? I love these little Wild West towns. All right, so last person I visited for a couple of days was Kate and we had a blast. We did the Bisbee Farmer's Market. Unfortunately, the next day was Sunday and from the Farmer's Market, we did the whole town of Bisbee. I must have got 20,000 steps in that day. I was exhausted. So I did not get to do Tombstone this year, but it looks like next year I'm coming back this way. So I'll do that next year. Um, it, it was a lot of fun. Oh my gosh. Kate and I, we had the best time. I, I had a great time with, uh, come on. I know your name, Kathy, over at Spirit Wind View and Leilani. Everybody that we met up with, we're having so much fun. Andrea, I can't wait to meet up with you. Go frugal, Sean. So I'm working on it. I'm working on next year. I, I really am. Oh, there's a nice little cop car just waiting to give someone a ticket. Some innocent person that's driving around a ticket. That could be me. Right. All right. So, the other thing Kate and I have been exploring, and uh, is it possible to earn extra income on the road? And yes, yes, I have a whole videotape on that. Uh, that's coming out soon. Uh, basically, uh, one of the things I talked to Kate about, like when we're at Quartzsite, she can set up and uh, sell her jewelry, sell her artwork out there, uh, do massage. She is a licensed therapist. Or like in Yuma, uh, Yuma she has spaces that she can do that for. Uh, out here in Bisbee, so you can be a traveling artist or sell your uh, wares uh, all throughout the country. You really can, it, it's amazing. You know, the things like California, you know, you go to a swap meet and they want you to have like a free seller's permit, sales tax and everything. And it's like, these are so easy breezy. So uh, yeah, it's nothing to worry about. Okay, let's get up our speed to 55. I love driving this way. And uh, no, I, I use my hands to drive, not my uh, feet. So uh, that's pretty cool. I can use my feet if I want to, but uh, I prefer using my automatic uh, stuff. I love my van, I really do. And I love my van life. Uh, it, it's such a gift to be able to travel around and uh, visit with friends for a couple of days. It really is. And, uh, you know, I get to visit with them when they have free time, you know, when their time's available. Uh, a lot of people work. Here we go, up to speed. And like my sister, she works. And uh, it's like I go explore New Jersey. And then on the weekend when she has time for me, we go and get crab legs. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun. I, I have such a great time with my little sister. But uh, she's back to work. It's the Christmas uh, rush season. So she has to work real hard now. Uh, a lot of overtime, which... You know what? You got to make your money when you can. All right. So what else is on my mind today? Hopefully I'm meeting up with somebody special where I'm going to. That'll be uh, another person to add to my list. All right. So it is really possible to earn extra income. Now, why would you want to set up in one spot, go to another spot and go to another spot? 
Well, being a nomad, what we do is follow the weather. Right now, it's going to be 92 degrees in Yuma today, and the Bisbee area that I just left, I think the high would, was going to be 83. So uh, maybe in December, January, you would want to sell your wares out in Yuma for a month, or maybe quartzite, because the weather is going to be the same at those two areas of the desert. Okay, so that's why you want to learn an area, learn where to sell your crafts, and then, uh, you know, next year you come back, you sell in the same location. And believe it or not, people do come looking for you. They really do. So it, it's like, it makes me so happy to tell you that, you know, if you're belly under, like my apartment's $2,500 a month. I can't afford a $2,500 a month apartment payment. And I know you don't have to live in Southern California, Terry. I know. But, I love Southern California, but it's like, you can actually uh, live in a van. I can make ear, I've made a ton of earrings in my van, oh my gosh, and uh, sell them. And when I get back to uh, Redlands, I'm gonna pick up my earrings and start selling my earrings on the road. Uh, me and Kate are gonna do that together. So I'll, I'm gonna try it and tell you how I'm gonna do in Quartzsite, I will. And, uh, you know, Kate's such a good person. It's like, well, Kate, if I leave my earrings with you, uh, can you sell them for me? And, of course, I'd give her a generous commission. And she's like, of course I can. So it's like, I just got to set it up so it's easy for her and it doesn't take up a lot of space. So uh, that's pretty cool. That's really nice. So, you know, one of the things I hear is, uh, like, my van's fully set up. Do you need all this crap that I carry? Well, why do I carry all this crap? I am still paranoid. Oh, there's a swap meet. Talking about swap meets right there. I'm sure I could just go into the swap meet the day they're open, give them $15, $20, you know, whatever their table space is, set up my table and sell my wares from there. Like I said, anyhow, what was I talking about? Oh my gosh, I forgot. I, I totally forgot. I messed up. All right. Sorry, guys. You know, I'm a little senile. Oh, do you need a lot of stuff to go camping? No, you don't. I have uh, too much stuff because I'm still paranoid. Uh, one thing that the Koof taught me, and uh, my longtime followers know what the Koof is, is that time when there was no toilet paper on the shelves. And it's like, I don't want to go through that again. So I have lots of toilet paper in here, too much food. I, I've never camped this way before, but I am set up for emergency preparedness. Uh, okay, so with that being said, am I giving up any of this crap? No. Do you need this much crap? No. I probably have enough food in here to live for six months. That's how paranoid I am. And uh, four different types of water filtration systems. You know, uh, something to get the twigs out of my water if I'm at a stream. Okay. So, yeah, I, I am a little beyond on that. But you don't need all this stuff. I can guarantee that. And some of the stuff, please don't... Every time I... I show you something like here's how you can cook within a van. You don't need 300 different ways to cook, but uh, and especially like my uh, thrift store finds, it's uh, I'm showing you. You can just choose one. Uh, you don't have to have it all, but here's an alternative to what you could have instead of what I have. And uh, I am liking uh, the my minis, uh, the the rice cooker an awful lot uh, to reheat cans of soup because I I live on cans of soup. I am. I'm, I'm lazy. I am. And uh, it makes it so easy. And I have enough. Uh, I have a blue eddy. I have a couple of goal zeros. I have my big energy back there. So for me, energy is not ever really a problem unless it's cloudy for like three days in a row. But I am preferring to cook off of the my minis instead of uh, every time getting out my butane stove and uh, the butane stove heats up the whole van. So, I mean, if it's cold out enough, of course I'll cook with butane and heat up my stove, uh, heat up my van, but uh, most of the times it's not necessary. All right, what else is on my list? So, you don't need a lot of crap. I should do a video on the minimal uh, supplies that you need. It, it is all my fault that the reason why my van is so over full and it's uh, fear. It, it's unrealistic fear. All right, so I've traveled this country, you know? <laughs> you've been following me you know I've been everywhere what's been my favorite part you know people will be oh was it a uh, tombstone was it uh, this place was it that place and it's like no I the best part is getting to be with all my friends and family and everything that is uh, the best part the icing on the cake is sure you know it's nice to be able to go uh, at places go and explore 
but it's not necessary. It, you know, the most important thing is I get to connect with people. All right, I'm going to hang up the phone now. Did you, did you coffee up everybody? You know I'm such a pothead, don't you? Yes, you do. All right, I will see you down the road. Bye, guys.